What does that word efficiently mean? The problem says Sam ate two thirds of half a pizza. What fraction of the pizza did Sam eat? How do you know? So take a minute to kind of problem solve on your own. You can draw pictures, use models. Sam ate two thirds of half a pizza. What fraction of the pizza did Sam eat? Rows first to represent the first fraction. The next time we make sure we shade columns to represent the second fraction, okay? But that's really good, I love it. What about you, Ben? Did you just set it up the traditional way? Two thirds times one half and you came up with two six? Let me ask you a question. Could two six be reduced to what? How could we reduce two six? We have to think what number goes into the numerator and the denominator? Two. Two could go into both. So if we divide by two in the numerator, divide by two with the denominator, what are we going to come up with? One third. One third. Perfect. Okay, so do you agree now that we have thirds, that the pizza is cut into thirds? Here's one third, here's two thirds, and there's three thirds. That would make the whole, right? So we have to kind of dot or put a star in two out of those three. So let's put, there's one third, there's two thirds, okay? How many pieces of pizza have both the shading and the star? Mia? Two. Two. I see one right here and I see one right here. Two out of how many total? Because I'm still thinking about the whole. What fraction of the whole pizza did he eat? Um, Trinity? Two six. two six. Perfect. Two out of six. Is that technically the right answer? Yes. Could we do something a little bit more to that answer? We're not changing the value. The value is going to stay the same. But what is that called, Mia? Reducing. reducing. We're going to try to reduce this fraction to simplest form. So I need to make sure that I have, I can divide by the same number, the numerator and the denominator. And Caden says by two. So let's see if it works. Everybody, how many times does two go into two? Once. Once. How many times does two go into six? Three. Three times. Can one third be reduced? No. Nope, that's in simplest form. So, if you said that Sam ate two sixths of the pizza, you're right. That's still the right answer because two sixths is equivalent to one third.